Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. So today's review is a little bit of everything, a benchmark edition, a little church history, and a little genealogy report. I also wanted to give a shout out to Ken Saunders Bookstore in Salt Lake City, Utah, as I stopped in and shook hands with Ken Saunders and asked him about his current selections of the Book of Mormon. He showed me this edition that just came from an estate, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to review it and encourage anyone to visit his bookshop. So this is a 1908 edition of the Book of Mormon, published by the Reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is a benchmark book because it was a little while in the making and would be a new format that would be a significant change from previous RLDS editions. The reason is that a few years prior, the RLDS Church had obtained the printer's manuscript of the 1830 Book of Mormon. You'll remember that this was in Oliver Cowdery's estate and was passed to the Whitmer family in Missouri after he died. Around the turn of the 1900s, the Whitmer family eventually merged into the RLDS Church and other restoration branches and eventually sold the printer's manuscript to the RLDS Church. With the manuscript in possession, the RLDS Church reviewed the 1830 edition of the Book of Mormon and the printer's manuscript and created a text for a new format of their 1908 Book of Mormon. This is a hard canvas cover edition with title on the spine and red speckling on the outer edges of the pages. The title page lists this as the authorized edition with a location of Lamoni, Iowa in 1908. This was their headquarters prior to officially moving to Independence, Missouri. There is a preface that states that the church conference in 1906 set in motion to review the Book of Mormon text and eventually published this work, and it completed it in 19, for the 1908 printing. So the text of this edition is in full-page format. They kept the chapter selections consistent with the 1832 uh, section breaks, but did something interesting with the verses. This was the first time that every sentence was versified. For example, the previous 1874 edition had 49 verses in 1st Nephi chapter 1, and this 1908 edition had 174 verses for the same chapter. Once again, the verbal text is relatively same, just the verse versing was adjusted. So after the title page is the paragraph page where the owner inscription is written in the header and states that this was owned by Harold B. Wilson of K, Ohio. This is where a little genealogy research becomes fun. It seems that there was a Harold B. Wilson in Kirtland, Ohio around the same time frame. He was in Kirtland in the 1910 census and seems that this person was also a World War I veteran and was ranked as a quartermaster sergeant. He came back to Kirtland and lived there until his death, where he was buried in Kirtland, Ohio in 1962. So interesting that this person matches the inscription of the Book of Mormon, and I'm honored to do a little research on an owner of a book as his legacy will live on, and just because he listed his name in a very important edition of the Book of Mormon. So thanks everyone for watching this video. I'm always impressed with the legacy we leave behind, and I hope that this video helps create something better in our own lives. So thank you for the time taken here. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed here, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.